No highs, no lows. Only dough. This is Globber Contasoto. If you know his face, you almost certainly know him as the Dogecoin millionaire. He goes by Pro the Doge on Twitter. On February 5th, 2021, Mr. Contasoto bought 5 million Dogecoin at four and a half cents. My position, 5 million, 100,000. According to him, he did this by draining his bank account, selling his stocks, liquidating everything. Took everything out of my bank account, sold all my stocks. I maxed out two credit cards and took out cash advances and threw it all into Dogecoin. The reasons he gave for doing this was that Dogecoin is a good community. It's a meme that everyone loves and he likes that. People just love memes. But then his third reason is the kicker. Reason number three is the goal to get to a dollar. If I get it, then I have it at a certain price. If you get it, you have it at a certain price. And if we get more people to buy it, the value goes up, right? As soon as the value goes up, I make more money, you make more money, they make more money. Let's get more people to buy it and then the valuation goes up and we all make more money. If we do that enough times, we can get to a dollar, which is the goal. I'm not sure if Pro the Doge realizes the shape of the scheme that he's describing. Everyone can make more money as long as we get more and more people involved, then the price will go up. And as long as we get more and more people involved, then the price will go up. Those types of businesses do really well in the long term, right? Doge Doge to a dollar. Even is, that's even kind of catchy, right? Doge to a dollar. So Doge to a dollar is unfortunately his fatal flaw. Globber starts talking about Dogecoin as generational wealth. Generational wealth. Jay Z talks a lot about this. Um, he's buying a painting. Now it's worth two million. A few years it's worth four million. A few years it's worth eight million. I can't wait to give this to my children, right? So Dogecoin is an opportunity to build generational wealth. No, Dogecoin millionaire, this isn't like a painting. Well, Dogecoin is like a painting if you're talking about a living artist that's cranking out prints of his paintings at a rate so fast that literally everyone on earth can buy one every single year. When there's always more of something, especially fungible things like Dogecoin, the value can only go down over long periods of time. I'm not gonna get into too much of the tokenomics because that's boring and I'll probably get it wrong, but Dogecoin, unlike Bitcoin, does not have a ceiling. There's no maximum number of Dogecoin. And there are 10 10,000 new Dogecoin mined every minute forever. Bitcoin has a built-in mechanism where every four years, mining produces half as many coins on their 10-minute cycle until eventually there will just be no more new Bitcoins. That makes Bitcoin deflationary. So as long as it continues to exist, the value should go up over long periods of time. Dogecoin is an inflationary coin. Every year, there are literally billions more Dogecoin than there was the prior year. Which means, like a pyramid scheme, there always needs to be more and more people buying more and more of it forever and ever in order for the price to continue going up. It doesn't just have to stay popular, it has to increase in popularity continuously. The moment its popularity stops increasing, it can only lose value. Yes, there's an unlimited number of Doge being made, right? But so is the US dollar. And we've been using that for years and years. He's using this as a check mark in the pro category for Dogecoin. But comparing Doge to the US dollar, the US dollar does not gain value. When I was a kid, going to the movies was like eight bucks, popcorn and all. Now that's like a $40 venture. Meal at McDonald's was $3.18, $2.99 with tax. These things get more expensive over time, primarily because the US dollar is worth less and less, like Dogecoin will be. Without a fundamental change in how Dogecoin works, it cannot act as generational wealth. There are already 130 billion Dogecoin in circulation, and a generation from now, there will be trillions of Dogecoin. So unless it's the only form of money left, it simply can't be worth more than a dollar, at least not for any extended period of time. So keep that in mind, but this started for this guy at essentially the perfect time. I guess it could have been a more perfect time if he started even earlier, but he got in before the big wave. So he made that first video on February 5th. Then he was dormant on YouTube until April 20th when he made this video called I just became a millionaire by spending all my money on Dogecoin. He said the date was April 15th, even though he posted the video on April 20th with very little editing. I'm gonna take that 15th date with a grain of salt because that would mark 69 days after the day of his investment to become a millionaire. Seems unlikely, but then again, this all working out was absurdly unlikely, so Pro the Doge gets the benefit of the doubt on that date. I did notice something in the video that made me feel a bit better than I had felt previously about this guy. Everyone who always talks about him seems to make a point that he's never selling a single doge. I'm not gonna sell a single doge. We're not selling, all right? But he had showed his Robin Hood position at the very beginning, and on that February 5th video, he was holding 5.1 million doge. On this April 20th video, he shows his position again, and he's holding 3.9 million doge, and the average price has gone up from 4.5 to 4.7. So he did some moves in between there at some point. On April 15th, the price of Doge was 18 cents. It made an insane jump from 18 cents to 40 cents just that week. So by looking at the chart, we know he filmed this video on April 19th, at least this screenshot portion, because he shows the price of Dogecoin. So he sold a million Dogecoin somewhere between
between 18 cents and 40 cents and hopefully was able to pocket somewhere between 180,000 and 400,000 dollars and hopefully he used that to pay back some of his original investment. Good on you Pro the Doge if that's what you did. So the day after Pro the Doge becomes a millionaire from his 188,000 dollar investment, Dogecoin goes a little nuts and almost doubles again overnight. So now he's looking at 1.8 million dollars in his Robinhood account. Man, it is unbelievable he held through that and didn't sell any. Next, Globber Contasoto goes on a media blitz. CNBC, Forbes, Business Insider all did interviews with Pro the Doge. This is around the time when I had first heard about him on an episode of Andre Jick when he flew out to go talk to the Dogecoin millionaire. He pulls up in a beat up 2003 Toyota Corolla to pick up Andre for the interview. He's holding all of his Doge after all, he can't afford a new car. That actually comes a year later when, spoiler alert, Dogecoin's no longer 30 cents. In this interview, we get a peek into the life of the Dogecoin millionaire. Living in a 12 by 12 foot studio, he really seems to be holding it all. Not gonna sell your million dollar Doge. I'm not gonna sell a single Doge. They call me Diamond Hands Pro. I know that's gonna divide a lot that's of people. Pro the Doge says he's not gonna sell a single coin until a full year goes by, classifying his holdings as long-term capital gains and paying way less taxes. Over just the next couple of weeks, we watch the Dogecoin millionaire's net worth go nuts. Are you kidding me? Look at this. this is, we're at, we're at 1.8. Oh my God. From 1.8 million to 2.5 million. My total return is 2.5 million dollars. From 2.5 million lurching up to just under $3 million. Today, May 7th, I hit 2.9 million. So damn near $3 million 10 minutes ago. I will remind you that this guy still hasn't sold a single coin since April of 2021. He shows us his Robinhood page still holding 3.9 million doge. Literally staring at a free ticket to $3 million. Enough to buy a house outright and then just switch all the rest of your investment to something boring and live off the dividends with a higher salary than you ever had before. But Globber is committed. He's convinced his holdings will go to 10 million. You said that you wanted to hold your investment until it's worth 10 million dollars. Correct. Which, like, to me, seems like a dude who won the lottery who's gonna spend that money towards more lottery. <laughs> but okay. That would be $2.50 per Dogecoin. And again, with billions of new Dogecoins being printed every year, that dream gets more and more impossible by the minute. On May 8th, Elon Musk was set to go on Saturday Night Live. Elon had been a huge supporter of Dogecoin on Twitter. Anytime he would tweet about the coin or even just mention it with a meme, the price would spike literally like a moment later. He called himself the Doge Father. So the Dogecoin millionaire had high hopes with him going on to national TV. Even though he did an episode talking about how a friend of his got a piece of the script and predicted that the, some of the things Elon was gonna say would scare the market. Elon Musk replies, uh, yes, it does. People should not invest their life savings into cryptocurrency, to be clear. I think that's unwise. This is gonna scare people. I'm telling you this right now. It's gonna scare people. They're gonna sell. What do we do? Look, listen. <laughs> We're not selling, all right? It's a cryptocurrency you can trade for conventional money. Oh, so it's a hustle. Yeah, it's a hustle. The next time we see Pro the Doge on YouTube is a couple of days after the Saturday Night Live thing where he's looking at the live ticker on his Robinhood app. Fast forward to July, Globber makes a video about quitting his job and going full time as a Dogecoin influencer. He's got merch, though that choice came with continued unfortunate timing. The very next day. The day after I quit my job, Dogecoin takes a die and I fall below a million dollars. The Dogecoin 100,000 air. Here we see some of what's been driving the Dogecoin millionaire's holding pattern, publicity. I write stories about it and articles about it and this pops up on Robin Hood and that pops up on Robin Hood. People are talking about me, no publicity is bad publicity, all right? Way later, he would appear on the Graham Stephan's Coffee Hour podcast and when Graham asked him why he never sold, this is what he told him. Why didn't you sell? I would have felt like an imposter. You know what I mean? I'm over here preaching and, and telling people Dogecoin is the way and, and cryptocurrency is the future. And, and, and I just sell out. And a year from today, we're going to be in great, great, great place. Fast forward to June of 2022, still going on YouTube, still showing his holdings, but his portfolio seems to be missing an entire digit. All right, guys, so here's my portfolio for today. In the past hour, we are up $5,000. He really hasn't sold any, 3.9 million Dogecoin. On his appearance on Graham Stephan, he talked about even though how he watched all that money come and go, he's still in a better place than he was a year ago. Moved to Vegas, yeah. I got a house, I'm buying a Tesla. <laughs> What do you mean you're buying a Tesla? I'm, I'm gonna buy a Tesla. Why? Because I want a new car. What, a Tesla? Yeah, 
Yeah, why not? Now he's spending $90,000 on a new car. If we do some kind of fun, but ultimately unfair math, we can say that from his investment portfolio at the peak, this Tesla Model Y has cost Pro the Doge the equivalent of $1.5 million. And now we have arrived at today. Glauber Contasoto has not posted on his YouTube channel in over two months. When he did, on August 1st of 2022, he showed he's still holding that 3.9 million Dogecoin. And now his overall gain has shrunk to just 87,000, down from $3 million. All because he wanted to stay true to his word for his followers. I did my research, I did my due diligence. He's still active on Twitter, and he's even still talking about diamond hands. But the response is generally negative from the people writing back. Attention spans online are short, and people like to point out failure and loss way more than they like to get behind moral support, especially on Twitter and Reddit. If you ever find yourself where, with the touch of a few buttons on your phone screen, you could set yourself up for the rest of your life, even if you think by risking it just a little more, you could make even more, take profits. Sure, if he would have sold his whole bag, he would have gotten hate online. But look at him now. He didn't sell any. He's getting hate online. The reason you invest is to gain more money. If you're staring at a $3 million win in the face, my God, man, at least sock away a million. Gamble with the rest. The one-year Dogecoin chart does not look very promising. But then again, a bull run can make the public do irrational things. So maybe we will be hearing from the Dogecoin millionaire again soon. I literally studied for one whole week if this was going to be a smart investment on my behalf or not.